what's up? You're watching you special on NDTV Hindu. Hello there, Vanakam, Namaskar. I'm Evelyn Matthew. You're tuned into the 200th episode of You Special on NDTV Hindu. That's right, Evelyn. What a cracker of a journey it has been. So many colleges, so many episodes, so much learning we've had, and so much fun we've had over these 200 episodes. Absolutely, we've been to lovely campuses, met some great talent, and had some great conversations on what school and perhaps what deserves the thumbs down. And I think it's only fair to say, Evelyn, that at the end of 200 episodes, if you watch you special, you will catch the pulse of the youth of Chennai. We are dressed up like this and sitting by the beach. Well, we are going to be discussing about the image of the youngster of Chennai. Whether it's someone who is really modern in thoughts and still rooted when it comes to tradition and culture, or or are they moving away from their roots in search of better fashion, modernity, style, etc., etc., and in the process also perhaps trying to ape the West and other cities of the country. The youth of Chennai is confused. So we get down and discuss this in detail, this whole thought process, right here on our episode, on 200th episode of You Special. Guys, so here we are at the Alias Beach uh, with a bunch of youngsters we found here. They're all part of a youth organization. And if, when we say Chennai, which other place better than uh, the beach, uh, Evelyn, to discuss uh, the youth and the pulse of the youth of Chennai? Absolutely. Yeah. Today we are discussing the whether the machas and the machis of Chennai city are really cool enough and uh, have it in them to really have a balance of tradition and modernity. Sarfaraz, I want to start with you. How would you brand the youngster of Chennai today? Is it Are they really confused or getting there or are we still trying to find feet the youngsters of chennai like which are which have been living in the city for the past 12 13 years they are on the path of modernity but the youngsters who have come from the village side or from north india they are like totally not totally into conservative like they they really what to say they don't really gel with the people inside chennai and they create conflicts among us and they have a different view of looking at the whole world but uh, we have a different opinion. Like if we want to hang out somewhere, we go to malls, uh, big, big shops. But for them, a roadside shop is like a big, uh, a big, thing big for yeah, mall really for them. Yeah. But that's not quite of, right the also, can we yeah. say. I mean, you probably you're generalizing there too much. But then the question itself was uh, perhaps generalized. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Agreed. As Sarfra said that people from the villages, from the villages, from the interiors, mm -hmm. they do not, they are not open to the culture. They are not open to the modern, as we term it as modern modernity over here. Right. But okay. then people, when you compare it to the people from North India, when you see Chennai as of now, right. the people who set the fashion or set the trend or whatever you term it as, that is like half half of it comes from. You know the northern areas of the country, it's the northern or the western. So you're saying that maybe perhaps aping other cities? More Prob or less, probably yeah? something like that. Because people from the interiors, they do not know what modern, like, you know, okay, let's what talk the modern Chennai is all about. Born and bred up here in Chennai. Okay, let's forget those uh, divisions for a while. The migrants. The yeah. migrants or whatever. Yeah. Okay, politically correct. Yes. <laughs> I mean, okay, anyway, forget that, those divisions. But then, you know, people who have been, who have born here, who have been, who have studied in schools here, what about those people? See, I'd say most of the people who, as he said, who've lived here for 12, 13 years, I feel it's more, they're kind of hypocritical in their opinion because, you know, when I, when I started with my friends and we discuss about modernity or being conservative, we just have this opinion that, you know, yeah, modernity, it's okay till this extent. Like, you know, what's modern for us? Like, if he's, if he's said that people who come from villages and all, similarly, when we go abroad, don't we do the same thing? I mean, I think that's really mean of him to say that, you know, people who come from the villages are really like backward and all that. And I feel that's what we do. I think it's very hypocritical because we're halfway, uh, you, as you said, we're halfway there, but we're Sarfra also... Is smiling. I think it's time for you to give some answers. To she says you're being mean. <laughs> what did you mean? Probably she is right. But as far as I have seen, the places in Chennai, the hi-fi places like Ananaga, Adyar, the 
this area and all like you can find people who are really modern like 80% of the youth in in the um, big part the posh areas are high five but if you go to like small areas like uh, triple can or like vyasar party like the places which you won't have even heard of in all those right. places right. like the they are very conservative and it's like uh, even if you talk to a girl okay, they think it's a bit let me thing. ask you guys if not him anyone else what is wrong in being conservative he says they're being too conservative what is wrong if you're being too conservative um there's nothing wrong in being too conservative it's about being comfortable with who you are Mm-hmm. rather than aping somebody else if you con- if you like being conservative you like you know not going out or dating or something like that it's better that you are you mm-hmm. aren't but how do you know that i mean even if you are being modern so to say you quite we could be aping someone else right <laughs> you're not do we also do we also have kind of an identity crisis we're really mixed up when it comes to that kind of a view i'd like really to answer him first yeah, about being right. conservative mm-hmm. i mean being conservative is not wrong but then like it's influenced in a way you're influenced <coughs> from who you are and who your dad was and what he would do in such a situation and being conservative like it does influence your decision a lot like if you're looking if you like go to a school you go to a new school in 11th and 12th and people there are from like high better schools better mm-hmm. schools than you are and they go for they go out with girls and all that you be obviously influenced but then again you'll be like okay this is a girl i have to talk to her this way that way then you start copying actually you- this bo- girl boy thing in chennai is actually quite uh, revealing when we s- when we have to look at the mentality of the people here right there's still a lot um, of uh, being stuck up there actually yeah this girl boy stuff like you told it's a lot stuck up uh, the thing is modernity is like a book the tradition and culture which you're talking is like a cover of it people in chennai normally read don't read the whole book they just read the summary of it and they think <laughs> modernity is this they take the negative points and that's what considers your girl boy stuff so they relationships coming up at a very young age and that doesn't really last last long and uh, that impacts every other character of a guy or a girl coming around and that implies modern that's why the old age people think modernity is bad when modernity is given in the positive direction why to take it as bad read okay. the but you, you know, still think that youngsters here don't understand they still have this negative outlook at modernity exactly all right okay i think it's uh, time for us to take a short break we just barely touched upon the issues which you want to di- discuss we have lots more coming up do stay with us we will be right back <laughs>